this chandrayaan is a, a first indian mission to moon it was uh, conceived uh, about 7 or 8 years ago and it was approved in 2003 it is a unmanned satellite which will go to moon from sriharikota uh, it is scheduled to go on 22nd of october and it will take about 15 days to reach the moon now it is a polar orbiter uh, without man but with 11 instruments these instruments will uh, observe the moon uh, in different wavelengths uh, it has x ray eyes it has cameras it has radar and it has many instruments which will study all the parts of the moon there will be global coverage it will be there for 2 years that is the longest time any satellite will spend around the moon so we hope to get lot of new data from chandrayaan 1 it may be followed by chandrayaan 2 in the near future which will be a mission with a lander and a rover a kind of buggy which will move on the moon and take observations so it will have three components one is a orbiter one is a lander and one is a rover so th- in this way we have conceived a very long term project of planetary exploration moon is just the first uh, target and later on we hope that we can go to mars and other uh, bodies of the solar system amdavad has uh, two major laboratories one is called physical research laboratory which is a academic institutions where we have conceived the scientific objectives and defined the program the instruments what kind of data it should take on chandrayaan 1 and we have also built one uh, x ray camera there which is called high energy x ray camera hex the hex will uh, uh, map the radioactivity on the moon uh, the other center which is very active in this is the space application center in jodhpur tekra here which has a sensor development laboratory they have developed two very important cameras for this chandrayaan 1 mission one is called terrain mapping camera the terrain mapping camera is actually going to take 3d three dimensional picture of the whole moon at a very high resolution of 5 meters so we can see for example if a truck is standing on the moon it can be photographed from this orbit of 100 kilometers the other very novel uh, camera which is a mineral camera is called hyper spectral imager this is the first time that a hyper spectral camera is being sent to moon and its purpose is to map the minerals on the moon what are the minerals present in different places on the poles in the equator on the back side of the moon all this will be studied by the help of this camera so these three instruments have been contributed in a major way to this chandrayaan mission by amdavad the isro the space research organization offers many opportunities to young people to take up challenging tasks uh, related to space science uh, they have recently uh, only um, this year opened a uh, space science and technology institute which is a iit level institute in trivandrum and uh, people can um, go there and uh, get a degree and then they can join space uh, research organization and uh, whatever one does whether one does engineering or one does basic sciences or chemistry or physics or geology or electronics or computer science they all have opportunity in space research because space research is made up of all the subjects whatever we know right from nuclear physics to astronautics and so on gujarat has uh, contributed in a very important way uh, to the growth of uh, space sciences in india as you know physical research laboratory is known as the cradle of space science in india and under vikram sarabhai it started the whole program then we have given uh, several chairman to space uh, research organization uh, including uh, dr u r rao and dr kasturi rangan who developed this program further after uh, sarabhai and they have brought it to this very high level of performance that we can now go to the moon i am sure uh, gujarat will contrib- continue to contribute to the growth of space research and uh, use it for the betterment of the society you know that uh, today um, all communications your tv cameras your um, 
telephones, mobiles, they all are run by satellites. And uh, all the uh, resources of uh, India, that is uh, crops, uh, water resources, they are all being um, um, controlled or uh, given data from the Indian remote sensing satellite. So we have contributed in a big way to growth of the society, to development of the society, to growth of technology and I hope Gujarat will continue to do so in the future. Just a few years ago we started the planetary science and exploration program in India. Uh, Chandrayaan 1 is the first mission. Now it will be followed by several missions, Chandrayaan 2, 3 and maybe missions to Mars and asteroids and maybe to satellites of Jupiter and so on. So what I am saying, there is a big opportunity waiting here and this planetary science and exploration program which we started under PRL uh, at Thaltej campus of PRL uh, is very new and needs to be developed. So if we can uh, uh, have students who can learn from there because this uh, group provides platform for everybody to come, discuss, share the data, learn, have training and then contribute to the program. So this is a long term program and I think if the state government wants or the, the university wants to join in that will be a big boost to the planetary science and exploration in the country.